I'm Malcolm Gallagher, back here with Will Fugard, of CEO of Gusto for Taster Session 2. In Taster 1, Will told me all about his super DC new drinks. Now in Taster 2, we're going into the world of real cola with three drinks from Gusto. Over to you, Will. Thanks, Malcolm. Um, when we started making soft drinks for grown-ups, which is what we like to talk about at Gusto, okay. um, we thought, well, why don't we have a go at cola? It's such a ubiquitous flavour. If you look at all the soft drinks, the fizzy drinks that are sold in the UK, about 65, 70%, 70 of them are cola. So it's mm. a massive market share. And I think what we as a brand were concerned about is the ingredients that are in a lot of the big brand colas. So we all love cola. Cola is a wonderful flavour. It's a wonderful complex flavour. But we were a bit concerned that there's some nasties in there, or these things which we don't really want to consume ourselves. Not being judgmental, but stuff which, which doesn't sit comfortably. So we came out with a real cola, which is a beautiful looking thing. Mm. Um, there are a couple of interesting things about this. It's made with real African cola nut. Real African cola really? nut yeah. grows yeah. in the rainforests of Africa. And it's a wonderful source of theobromine. Theobromine literally translates as food of the gods. So you've got this wonderful ingredient that gives you a sense of well-being, that gives you a sense of stimulation, that's used ceremonially throughout East Africa um, and indeed in the West Indies as well. It has a wonderful indigenous um, uh, uh, indigenous relevance as well. It goes back as, as a natural medicine over thousands of years. Um, and really, you know, if you're making a cola, it should have cola nut in, you know, maybe mm. maybe that's a rule we should we should put in place from henceforth. But anyway, we use real cola nut in that. Uh, it gives bitterness. With cola, you've got this balance. You've got a balance of sweet, sour and bitter. And it's a bit like that sort of a Nami bit, uh, flavor dynamic you get in food uh, and the bitterness plays with those other elements and it creates this very pleasurable experience so we start with that we create a cola flavor using spices and essential oils organic spices and essential oils and citrus which is in a sense what cola's flavor profiles are so we've got a range of different spices um, plus citrus essential oils going in there and then we sweeten with a fair trade agave and agave, which uh, oh. you may or may not know, it's, it's derived from a cactus in Mexico. Um, and it's, it's a wonderful nectar like flavor. So it's a sweetening profile, but it, you don't have to use as much as sugar because it, it has a higher perceived sweetness. It's better for your glycemic index, uh, which means it doesn't make your sugar levels spike so much. So it's a little bit healthier on that front. Um, and we managed to keep all the calories at under 100 calories a bottle, which I think is important wow. as well. Yeah. Time when we're really we're conscious of calories, even though. These are adult soft drinks. They're less than half the calories of beer or wine. We still need to be mindful of those of those issues. Mm. Um, but no, it's a, it's a beautiful cola. It's won a great taste award. Um, it's it's hugely popular um, and quite delicious. Uh, and we don't use, as I said, we use we use cola nut instead of synthetic caffeine. And synthetic caffeine is just not a very nice ingredient, which is used in energy drinks, big brand colas, and it's derived from ammonia, and it's not something which. I would choose to have in my body. Likewise, we don't use phosphoric acid. I don't want to turn this into a chemistry lesson, but phosphoric acid gives big brand cola its bite, that sort of tang. And phosphoric acid is in essence a industrial rust remover and is responsible for taking the calcium out of your bones, leaching calcium out of your bones. And tests in the US uh, are indicating that this could be, you know, one of the one of the ways of, of starting a path towards uh, towards osteoporosis or reduced bone density. So lots of ingredients you don't want to have in cola. We replace our phosphoric acid with organic lemon juice, which helps your body absorb calcium. So so a nice way of flipping it on its head um, and and uh, uh, and creating a really delicious drink that mm. tastes like a cola, that makes a nice mixer, if that's your thing as well, um, that looks beautiful. And it's hugely popular. So so I wouldn't say, it's, it's, is it a guilt-free cola? It's pretty guilt-free. It's pretty guilt-free. I mean, if we want guilt-free, drink fizzy water. But, you know, <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is a fabulous cola and we love it very much. We uh, follow. I, I, I just love your passion, by the way, Will. I know, <laughs> I, I know you're chief alchemist, um, which is which is obviously a, a lovely title. But I just love your passion about telling the story. And, and that's today what products and what success is all about telling the story and there's a huge story behind the, this bottle isn't there this, this there's, cola. there's, a, there's, yeah. there's a multitude of stories and i kind of I, I really could rabbit on for ages i mean one of the things which we're 
as I've mentioned previously, we you know we're very passionate about fair trade ingredients and organic ingredients. Yep. We use a wonderful fair trade organic vanilla in this, Madagascan vanilla, uh, which is just a wonderful ingredient. You can taste it in all three of our colas. It gives this wonderful flavor note and it supports farmers in a really troubled part of the world and it secures crops and it pays the right the, the right tariff for those for, for those ingredients. And I just think that, you know, it's it's another lovely part of the story. It, it is a great, a great. Like Madagascar, where they are sometimes murdering each other for, 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 for vanilla crops because of the price volatility between $600 a kilo and $100 a kilo, depending on the year. Um, this is another way of securing that, securing that, that the futures of those people and securing a delicious ingredient in a wonderful drink. So, I you know, you that, buy... I, love, I, I love that story. Now, which which call are we going to now? Well, I tell you what, we've got, we've, we've had a look at the real. Mm. We've got a cherry cola. Now, this oh, cherry, cherry, yep. cherry cola. This is a fun one. This, this is this is a real organic cherry cola. To our knowledge, no one's ever made an organic cherry cola. So mm. that was a nice little challenge for us. Why why isn't anyone doing it? Or we'll do it. And what we've done is we've made a cherry cola with the signature flavour. And we'll open it, we'll open the bottle and have a taste together, shall we? Yeah, now? yeah I'm ready. I'm up for it. <laughs> I'm a we've got, we've hey, I, tell, I tell you what, Will, this is much more fun than talking about leadership and other types of things I do on interviews, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh this is much more fun, yeah. <laughs> so, have a little sniff. Get, get, get your hooter in that, Malcolm. Oh, yes. Yeah. What's going on? Tell me what you think. My nose is actually twitching. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm not, I'm not really good at things like that, you know. My oh, wife goes, yeah. keeps saying to me, "Well, smell that wine." And I, I, but I, my nose is twitching. Well, you're 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 pulling through some lovely smells, ranging from the cherry. We use an organic cherry juice. Can you imagine cherry cola that doesn't have cherry juice in? That's mostly what people drink. Ooh, but we're using lovely. real organic cherry juice. Yeah, we've got that lovely Madagascan fair trade vanilla, which I talked about earlier. We've yeah. got the coconut with its bite in there. We've got the agave coming in with that lovely nectar-like, honey-like sweetness. We've got the lemon juice adding a bit of sharp. Quite a simple drink. I mean, cola is quite complex in terms of ingredients, but but the proposition's reasonably simple about doing cherry cola better, doing things better, better impact on the planet, better health wise for the people who drink it. Hugely pleasurable. And I've got a to gorgeous say, after, gorgeous aftertaste, isn't it? We launched this two years ago. Yeah. And I couldn't sell it for love or money. It was one of the, the first six months I was thinking, is it only me who likes cherry cola? No word of a lie. This is now our bestseller. And it's just over time, there's a business lesson lurking there in patience, which I think is important for any business. But over the course of the last 18 months, this is now our number one seller and it grows and grows in popularity every month. It's a wonderful flavor. It's evocative of people's childhoods. It's hugely mm. satisfying. It tastes amazing with a little drop of rum in as well, dare I say. So you know, it, it can be drunk in that way for those who like that sort of thing. But it's a beautiful I, I, I just remember again, uh, this is the worst thing about all these things that you've made, you know, taking all these blooming memories back you, that I've got. I remember the pop man that used to be called coming round running with his horse and cart. I know, I've come, I know, I, I've got a couple of grey hairs. Um, his horse and cart in Carlisle, where I come from, uh, once a week. And, you know, he'd give you some um, money off if you get when you gave him the empty bottles back. And Cherry Cola was was a, a sort of a cherry drink then but this is absolutely it's a good memorable. it's a good and i love the fact we've got so many adults who drink it you know unashamedly mm. glugging it down now. and there's a lot about what we do as a brand which is which is about the fact that it's almost like adults have rediscovered soft drinks people are drinking less booze they're yeah. looking for, for drinks with stories better drinks tastier drinks and so there's a place for what we do now undoubtedly and there's a place in the world for an organic cherry cola and you yeah. know and, and our and our customers approved it, which is a lovely thing. I, I just think so many of our hospitality providers uh, will not only enjoy having this as on their stock, but also enjoy being able to tell the story behind it. And uh, I'm just visualizing some people sitting there and their memories, like me, are going to come f flooding back. I hope so. I hope so. I mean, we bottle these colas down in a lovely production facility in Devon, in the hills of Exmoor. We make our drinks with spring water from the local hills. You know, this is a, this is a, a really lovely fair trade drink that has a very positive impact. It's made in a beautiful part of the countryside that we sell all over the UK. In fact, we sell all over the world now. Um, but I love the fact it's made in Devon. 
Mm. I like the fact we're supporting the local economy down there. You know, as we, we're going through a strange summer this year, undoubtedly, there are going to be people flooding to Devon and Cornwall and all these lovely coastal places. We hope to have our drinks as part of that, part of that fun and reopening and people enjoying, you know, trips to the sea and such like i think you know there's there's yeah. a lovely pleasurable linkage lurking there yeah but as you can see from uh, viewers from uh, the screen behind me there we're very proud of uh, promoting everything made in, uh, in in britain we're created in the uk uh, uh, as a podcast but this is beautiful uh, everything that drink gusto is doing created in the uk uh, have we got a third cola then to well, look at we have i think we have we, we've got a naturally slim cola and this oh. is really our bit of a campaigning drink this one because you know right. I, I don't want to bore your viewers about about the, the health benefits of not drinking big brand cola uh, or indeed or at least the, the the problems with drinking some of the ingredients in it this is our version and i'm, I'm not going to say brand names for fear of being uh, sued but this is our version of, of a big brand diet cola all right not zero calories because really the only thing zero calories which one drinks should be water if it's zero calories it means it's got nothing in this is a slim cola so it's under 50 calories mm -hmm. um, so it's low calorie by definition and it's just a lovely way of giving an alternative to those diet colas that are full of phosphoric acid full of synthetic caffeine that we really don't think are doing anyone any any great favors and people mm. drink them going out of fashion this yeah. is the delicious drink it's again it's plant-based it's got that lovely fair trade mark on it which means that we're, we're using our fair trade agave we're using our fair trade vanilla use a tiny little bit of an organic stevia leaf which helps us sweeten it mm. and the ingredient called organic erythritol which is fermented cornstarch so you, you do you do see the difference between us though i'm using a glass you know i'm <laughs> Sophisticated, sophisticated. I don't, I don't know what happened there. In Northumber <laughs> Northumberland, we're sophisticated. Yeah. I think you're like a cola out of a bottle. Honestly, I think it's yeah. a nice thing. But no, I, I do beg you. I do beg your pardon for not using glass. But it's, a, but it's, a, it's a, it's a wonderful drink. Um, you know, oh, yeah. I think they look great. They taste great. This ice cold, and it's got. A, I, I, I shouldn't say this, but it gives you a lovely little buzz. It's that cola nut in there. It just gives you a real sense of pleasure. Not like an energy drink. Doesn't make you all banging and wakey wakey. But it's just if you if you hit a point in the afternoon, like a two or three in the afternoon, you're driving along, you just start feeling that little bit of tiredness. And you don't want to get whacked out on a, a double coffee from Costa Coffee or whatever. Have a bottle of this and it'll just give you that little gentle lift, a very nice gentle lift, very refreshing gentle lift. That just gets you through the afternoon without keeping you up all night. And I think, you know, I think that's why this is probably my one a day. Right. Is is it sacrilege, by the way, just asking the question to use these uh, superb drinks and maybe in this last cola there put Bacardi in? I think it would be entirely correct as long as you're over the age of 18. All right. OK. Well, I, I, I they make a lovely I, coat. I, 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 I qualify. I qualify. <laughs> but what a, what a fantastic opportunity with the three great colors there that people within uh, hospitality have got to bounce back from uh, its recovery and bring uh, a whole new dimension to uh, to what they're offering and especially all made in the UK. All made thanks, in Will. The thanks. thanks Will and what a, what a really healthy alternative to those fizzy pops that are around. In Taste of Three, we're looking at meal pairing gusto drinks, and we're going to get our uh, lips around blood orange, fiery ginger, fiery ginger, sorry, and my wife's favourite, which have had a real problem, uh, will on keeping this one hidden from her, so they had a bottle ready for us, mm. our, our sampling Sicilian lemon with yuzu. Mm. 